hello everybody. I hope this will go up today. Uh, it is Friday, January the 15th and it's 9.55 a.m. I was sent a link to this particular video by one of my subscribers on YouTube about the deep state. And I thought, well, if it's still up on YouTube and has been since April 21st, 2020, then it must be okay to share it. All right, I have fast forwarded. I listened to the whole thing and I almost didn't listen to it because I thought, okay, you know, most of us know about the Illuminati and, you know, but still, do we really know the history? Well, this particular page is showing J.P. Morgan. He was a, a banker, I believe. J.D. Rockefeller. He was in the money business. Jacob Schiff. Does that ring a bell with anybody? Max Warburg. I did a video on the history of the Bushes, and I'm pretty sure Jacob Schiff was the man who changed his name to Bush, but I could be wrong. I will look into that and put it in the description box if it wasn't him. Let me just look it up right now. Because I don't remember which video I made that did it. How was Jacob Schiff Related to George Herbert Walker Bush. Bush family treason. Okay. This is an executive intelligence report put out April 10th, 2015 um, of Executive Intelligence Review, Bush Family Treason by Barbara Boyd and Anton Chaitkin. All right, let me skim this really quick. Lyndon LaRouche describes Jeb Bush's presidential candidacy as a deadly unfolding strategic potential in a world already careening toward financial collapse in a world war. Okay, I'm going to just go really fast, and I can't read that fast. Okay, the present, uh, the present ugly caricature of the once great United States can be attributed to George H.W. Bush's tenure in the vice presidency and presidency, George W. Bush's eight years in office, and the six-plus years America has suffered under its successor in interest, Barack Obama, what... LaRouche calls the Bush League of Nazis. Hmm. The history of the Bush family dating back to Jeb's grandfather, Prescott, and his great-grandfather, George Herbert Walker, is a history of Anglo-American financial treason against the founding principles of the United States. Okay. fill it to the core. They proudly trace their roots to the house of Windsor. No Bush has ever been his own man. The status of Jeb Bush trumpets for himself at every public occasion. This claim is so ridiculous that the New York Times columnist Maureen Dowd, Dowd has taken to calling him Quote, I am my own man, Bush, unquote. Let's see. Wasn't this is something probably Bush was running? Jeb Bush. I'm trying to see where. Hey, I thought it's not as easy as I thought. This is pretty long. 
Well, anyway, I do remember doing a video about the bushes and um, Jacob Schiff just keeps coming to my mind that he was the one that came over here and um, changed his name to Bush. But I could be wrong. I'll do some more research on that if anybody wants me to because I will. Uh, but this is titled The Deep State, 1967, Recording Reveals Everything Happening Today. Now, this is just a 23-minute, 39-second portion of what he calls uh, a nearly two-hour uh, recording. And he said... Let's see, there's a Patreon. Okay, that might be a way to support him, but where's the two-hour? There should be a link to the two-hour one. Oh, he, I remember. He tells you how to research it. All right, I'm going to play for you just a few minutes at the very end. So saw the latent Machiavellian qualities in Jacob that could, as it did, make him an invaluable functionary in the great one world conspiracy. After a comparatively brief training period in the Rothschilds London Bank, Jacob left for America with instructions to buy into a banking house, which was to be the springboard to acquire control of the money system of the United States. Actually, Jacob came here to carry out four specific assignments. Number one, and most important, was to acquire control of America's money system. And, and they're showing the $1 bill upside down and portions of it, and they're pointing, they have arrows pointing to very tiny pictures of it which are evidently symbols that mean something number two find desirable men who for a price would be willing to serve as stooges for the great conspiracy and promote them into high places in our federal government our this is the five men I started to tell you, J.P. Morgan, J.D. Rockefeller, Jacob Schiff, Max Warburg, and Paul Warburg. Congress, in the U.S. Supreme Court, and all federal agencies. Number three, create minority group strife throughout the nations, particularly between whites and blacks. Number four. Create a movement to destroy religion in the United States. This is the one we have to pay attention to. Well, that you might be most interested in. But Christianity to be the chief target. The headquarters of the great conspiracy in the late 1700s was in... So way back then they were targeting Christianity and figuring out a way to bring it down. Frankfurt, Germany, where the House of Rothschild had been established by Mayor Anselm, who adopted the Rothschild name and linked together other international financiers who had literally sold their souls to the devil. After the Bavarian government's exposure in 1786, the conspirators moved their headquarters to Switzerland, then to London. Since World War II, after Jacob Schiff, the Rothschild's boy in America, died, the headquarters of the American branch has been in the Harold Pratt Building, New York, and the Rockefellers, originally protégés of Schiff, have taken over the manipulation of finances in America for the Illuminati. In the final phases of the conspiracy, the one world government will consist of the king dictator head of the United Nations, the CFR, and a few billionaires, economists, and... Let me play that over. ...of the conspiracy. The one world government will consist of the king dictator, head of the... 
That'll be Obama. United Nations, the CFR, and a few... That's the Council on Foreign Relations. Billionaires, economists, and scientists who have proved their devotion to the great conspiracy. All others... Or a.k.a. Satan. ...are to be integrated into a vast conglomeration of mongrelized humanity, actually slaves. And they're showing a picture of a bunch of cops, like SWAT team with face shields standing around waiting on something to happen. What you just heard was a very small piece of that recording. The full recording is well over two hours in length and is widely available online. Just Google Myron Fagan CFR or Myron Fagan Illuminati and you can find several versions of it. Please leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this. And also, don't forget to hit that like button. Until next time, thank you all for watching. God bless you all. I mean, I mean, earlier in here, he talked about how the history books were changed. It's just, when you think about it, it does say the Illuminati was formed in 1776. But um, I can't remember what all he said. It, it just... It's kind of mind-boggling, and I'm glad I watched it. And for anybody who does not realize exactly who runs this country, and you still don't understand why politics is just a play, and they have to do what the deep state says, then you might want to watch this or even check out the two-hour version, because ignorance is no excuse. When you stand before God... And have to give an account of why you did this or that. You know. Putting so much into this Trump issue. It's like making him an idol. It really is. And he's had his DNA changed. So there's no praying for people who's had their DNA changed. And that goes for people who's had the, the other things that change your DNA. And that's all I can say about that. So I'll end it here. And if you want to know more, make sure you look up that what he said at the end. And um, also I want to state... I hope this goes up because I have a new email address that's just for my YouTube subscribers or BitChute. I'll probably put this up on BitChute also. It's genie.hardesty at yahoo.com. That will be my email address. Now, if this channel goes down... You will be able to find me once once I'm not being punished anymore for exposing the truth. Then I have a second channel that I made four or five days ago that they wouldn't let me do anything with because this channel was down, okay? It's Genie Hardesty 2.0. Simple, right? Anybody can... Just type my name in and it should come up. And it has my picture instead of the lion and the lamb. So you know for sure it's me. Okay? All right. With that, I'll say bye for now, everybody. You've got, you're still in my prayers. I pray for you every single night. Pleading the blood over you, your families, your pets, your cars, everything. Your homes inside and out. So, I do all that still and more. Okay, and I wanted you to know that. So, um, I'll put my new email address and second channel in the description box. But, just listen to the end again if you, did, if you can't find the description box on your device. Alright, God bless each and every single one of you. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.